Hello friends, welcome to GK Academy channel. Now we are going to read about World News Current Affairs. The first question is Economic Freedom Index has been released by which organization? The options are A. World Health Foundation, B. World Bank, C. Heritage Foundation, D. Global Economic Facility. The answer is C. Heritage Foundation. The explanations are The Heritage Foundation published its 26th annual editions of Economic Freedom Index 2020 to measure the level of economic freedom in 186 country. India ranks in 120th position and Singapore tops the index for the first time. Question number two. Which country announced to take the first tourist on spacewalk under the terms of a new contract with the US partner? The options are A. China, B. Russia, C. India, D. Canada. The answer is B. Russia. The explanations are Russia Energia Space Corporations has announced that it is to take the first tourist on spacewalk in 2023 under the terms of a new contract with a US partner. Energia has signed a contract with a space adventure under these two space tourists to the international space stations. Question number three. Where is the headquarter of NASA located? The options are A. California, B. New Jersey, C. Washington, D.C., D. New York. The options are the answer is C. Washington, D.C. The explanations are the headquarter of NASA is located in Washington, D.C., the United States. Question number four. Which country is to lead the United States India Business Council Summit? The options are A. Brazil, B. India, C. Indonesia, D. U.S. The answer is B. India. The explanations are the 45th annual meeting of the United States India Business Council will be marked with the 2020 India's Idea Summit. India will virtually host the event on 21st and 22nd July. Question number five. Name the climate activist from Sweden who has been named the winner of the inaugural Gulbenkian Prize for Humanity. The options are A. Malalia Yusufzai, B. Melina Aronman, C. Vante Dunberg, D. Greta Dunberg. The answer is D. Greta Dunberg. The explanations are climate activist from Sweden, Greta Dunberg, has been named winner of the inaugural Gulbenkian Prize for Humanity. Question number six. International Day for the Right to the Truth Concerning Cross Human Rights Violation and for the Dignity of Victimism is observed on which date? The options are A. March 21, B. March 23, C. March 22, D. March 24. The answer is D. March 24. Explanations are International Day for the Right to the Truth Concerning Gross Human Rights Violations and for the Dignity of Victimism is observed on 24th March. The day pays tribute to those who have devoted their lives and to lost their lives in the struggle to promote and protect human rights for all. The day is observed to pay tribute to the memory of Monsignor Oscar Ar Arunfulo Romeria. Question number seven. The International Financial Service Central Authority, which has been notified by the finance minister, will be headquartered in which city? The options are A. Mumbai, B. New Delhi, C. Gandhinagar, D. Ahmedabad. The answer is C. Gandhinagar. The explanations are the Union Ministry of Finance has established the International Financial Service Central Authority, which will be headquartered in Gandhinagar, in Gujarat. This body will regulate all financial products and financial service in international financial service centers in the country against the multiple regulators including RBI, SEBI, IRDA and PFRDA. The IFSCA will have a chairperson and one member each nominated by the regulators. It will also include two members from the central government and full-time or part-time members. 
Question number eight. Name the Spanish novelist who won the 2008 Cervantes Prize. The Spanish-speaking World Stop Literary Award passed away recently. The options are A. Michael Chabon, B. Juan Marce, C. Jennifer Egan, D. Anne McAvan. The answer is B. Juan Marce. The explanations are Spanish novelist Juan Marce, who won the 2008 Cervantes Prize, the Spanish-speaking World Top Literacy Award, passed away recently. Question number 9. The report titled Economic and Social Survey of Asia and Specific Towards the Sustainable Economics has been released by which global organization? The options are A. United Nations, B. World Bank, C. World Economic Forum, D. International Labour Organization. The answer is A. United Nations. The explanations are The United Nations has recently released a report titled Economic and Social Survey of Asia and the Pacific 2020. Towards the sustainable economics, as per the report, the GDP growth of India for the current fiscal is expected to dip to 4.8 percent. The report also warned that the COVID-19 pandemic would result in adverse economic impact globally. UN had earlier estimated the GDP growth of India at 5 percent of the current fiscal Question number 10. Name the person who has been appointed by the German technology major SAP as presenter and managing director for SAP Indian subcontinent. The options are A. C. P. Gurnani, B. Sanjay Gupta, C. Rajesh Gupinathan, D. Gulmit Bhava. The answer is D. Gulmit Bhava. The explanations are German technology major SAP as appointed Gulmit Bhava as president and managing director for SAP Indian subcontinent. Question number 11. The International Day for Human Space Fight is celebrated on April 12 to commemorate the first flight carried out by which astronaut? The options are A. Neil Armstrong, B. Yuri Gagarin, C. Valentina Tarskova, D. Alan Stepan. Answer is B. Yuri Gagarin. The explanations are the United Nations General Assembly declared 12th April as the International Day of Human Space Flight in the year 2011. 12th April 1961 was the date for the first human space flight carried out by Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, who was the first person to fly in space. The day is celebrated to commemorate this historic event, which opened the way for space exploration across the globe. Question number 12. Marines and Emirates Force conducted the Binnel exercise named Native Fury at which place? The options are A. Singapore, B. Dubai, C. Kathmandu, D. Abu Dhabi. The answer is D. Abu Dhabi. The explanations are U.S. Marine and Emirate Force conducted the Benial exercise named Native Fury at Abu Dhabi on March 23, 2020. The exercise saw force Siege a spiraling moral Middle East city, a drill conducted amid tension with Iran and despite the new coronavirus pandemic. It also comes after the USA killed Iran, most prominent general in a drone strike in January, and Tehran retaliated with a ballistic missile attack on America force in Iraq. Question number 13. Which country is the largest producer of hydro, hydroxychloroquine, accounting for nearly 70% of annual global production? The options are A. China, B. India, C. Brazil, D. Japan. The answer is B. India. The explanations are India is the largest producer and exporter of hydroxychloroquine with nearly 70% of annual global production. As per the recent announcement from the Department of Pharmaceuticals, our country has enough stock and manufacturing capacity of the formulations to cater both the domestic requirements and exports commitments. India Council of Medical Research had recommended 
hydrochloroquine to be used as a preventive medications for persons to in the high risk group question number 14 which country has become the first one to withdraw from the 2020 olympic and paralympic games in tokyo the options are e canada b japan c australia d china the answer is a canada the explanations are the 2020 olympic and paralympic games in tokyo have been thrown into further doubt after canada becoming the first major country to withdraw Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has admitted for the first time that the games could be postponed. The International Olympic Committee is expected to decide the fate of games in four weeks' time. Question number 15. Name the Sri Lankan bowling all-rounder who has announced her retirement from the international cricket with immediate effect. and the options are a dilania mandora b istani logzikya c sashikala shrivarne d shiripalli veerakodi the answer is d shiripalli veerakodi the explanations are sri lankan bowling all rounder shrivalli veerakodi has announced her retirement from international cricket with immediate effect Question number sixteen: Which country is to host Serpa Track for G20 leaders summit 2020? The options are A. India, B. Singapore, C. Saudi Arabia, D. Indonesia. The answer is C. Saudi Arabia. The explanations are Saudi Arabia to host the Serpa Track for G20 leaders summit 2020. Question number seventeen: How many countries are members of the Asian? Which has held its virtual annual summit the options are a 8 b 10 c 12 d 15 the answer is b 10 the explanations are asian leaders have met during the recent annual summit held a video conference asian is a regional association with 10 member countries including indonesia thailand vietnam singapore malaysia philippines cambodia my Myanmar, Brunei, Laos. The chair of Asian in 2020 in is Vietnam, which hosted the virtual summit due to travel restriction amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Question number 18. International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slave Trade is observed on which date? The options are A. March 23, B. March 26. C March 25 D March 28 The answer is C March 25 The explanations are International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slave Trade is observed on 25th March The day is observed every year The day provides an opportunity to honor and remember the people who suffered and died at the hands of the virtual slavery system Question number 19 Name the country to which India has handover 10 broad gauge railway locomotive to offer mobility solution for both intra country and inter country movement The options are A Sri Lanka B Nepal C Myanmar D Bangladesh The answer is D Bangladesh The explanations are India has handed over 10 broad gauge railway locomotives of Bangladesh Question number 20 The six bridge that were built by BRO on international border and the line of control of Jammu and Kashmir was built under dash A project Brahmak B project Udayak C project Sampad D project Aruna The answer is C project Sampad The explanations are Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated six major bridge through video conferencing on 9th July 2020 The bridge will provide connectivity in sensitive border area that are close to the international border and the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir this six bridge were constructed by the border roads organization this bridge are constructed under the project samples of the bro question number 21 apple recently 
partnered with which company to develop a technology solution for contract tracing activity? The options are A. Microsoft, B. IBM, C. Google, D. Facebook. The answer is C. Google. The explanations are Technology giants Apple and Google recently announced a joint initiative to develop a technology solution for contract tracing activity which will help the government and health agency to curb the spread of coronavirus. The systems which will use the Bluetooth technology will identify people who are in contact with an infected person and provide alert message to the user. The company is also clarified that the systems will be developed without compromising the privacy of the user. Question number 22. Calra, an artificial intelligence based abroad belongs to which country? The options are A. UAE, B. UK, C. USA, D. Netherlands. The answer is C. USA. The explanations are the U.S. Center of Disease Control and Prevention's partner with CDC Foundation and Microsoft Azure Healthcare Board Service has introduced an AI artificial intelligence based bot named Calra, the coronavirus self checker. The bot is currently available in the U.S. on the CDS website. Question number 23. Name the England cricketer who has become 7th bowler of the world to take 500 wicket in the test cricket. The options are A. Monte Panizer, B. Satrit Broad, C. Johnny Barristow, D. Ben Stock. The answer is B. Satrit Broad. The explanations are England cricket Satrit Broad become 7th bowler of the world to take 500 wickets in the test cricket. Question number 24. The central bank of which country has become one of the investors with more than one person stake in Housing Development Finance Corporation Limited? The options are A. Japan, B. Singapore, C. China, D. Malaysia. The answer is C. China. The explanations are the central bank of China, the People Bank of China has joined the group of investors with more than one person stake in Housing Development Finance Corporation Limited. People's Bank of China now holds 1.01% in HDFC, which is the largest standalone housing finance company of India. The central bank has been included in the group of eight foreign portfolio investors who own more than one person stake in HDFC. Question number 25. Global Network Resistance Platform has been launched by which organization? The options are A. WHO, D. ITU, C. UN, E. SCO, D. IMF. The answer is B. ITU. The explanations are the International Telecommunication Union launched a global network resiliency platform to help global networks remain safer, stronger and more connected during COVID-19 crisis. If you like my video, please subscribe, press the like button and share it to your friends. Thanks for watching.